Okay, pilots. It's another continuing saga with the TL2000. I thought I'd show you just to try to make it a quick video of how I'm going to glue my little balsa wood pieces into my corners here in the top. And I've already done one in the back here because I'm going to put a screw in the canopy here, 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 and on the other corner. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to put some earth magnets in my front canopy. I've got the holes drilled deep enough. Got little small earth magnets here, big around as a cigarette butt, and remember that. I got it deep enough for two to go in flush. Okay. That's what it's gonna look like. It's going it's you're wanting two to be able to go in flush. That way, when you got one magnet glued to the can the fuselage you know, and you got the other magnet glued to the canopy it's going to still lay flush okay so let's see if we can get this now earth magnets pilots you can't cut them you can't drill a hole in them you can't do nothing with them as soon as you start doing it they just they it's like you're trying to drill in flint it just splits all the hell so you you just got to deal with what you got to deal with. Now, I'm going to take five minutes on this one. I'm going to give me a little bit of time. Let's hope. It'll take a minute to get up through here. and do this too. My stomach's going crazy. I ain't eating it. I went into work today. Boss man told me the part's not going to be in the noon. I'm going to go back to the house till 1 o'clock. I said, all right. But that worries me, pilots. I mean, you know. I took a razor blade laid the piece of balsa which was a pilot anchor if you know what I mean it's what they put it in the bottom of a plane there for the pilot to be mounted to or reinforced you know what I'm saying and I just took a hobby knife and cut it in certain shapes there so that it'll fit down into the hole that I've cut. Look at my glue running out there. Let's see, I want to make sure I'm putting that in right. They'll put it at the, in the bottom of the cockpit there to help hold a pilot in and I just took it and I this one was round this one was was half of the circle and I just made a couple cuts there in the pie to make that turn and this one back here was a long straight flat piece and I just rounded one edge of it okay, I've got a few minutes I'm going to show you that up close And that's flush. That's flush with the original panel. Now, now we're gonna try to get something in these magnets here. Just a little bit of glue. Just a little bit of glue in the hole. Just a little bit.
like I said, we got five minutes here. So what I like to do is I like to take my magnet that's gonna be glued to the surface and I'll take me a piece of rough sandpaper and I'll scratch that side up, okay? Now you've got to do something, pilots, to let you know what side to put in so that it'll stick to the other magnet when you stick it in there. And plus, by roughing the edge up there a little bit, you're giving that glue something to grab a hold of. Now guess what? I'm gonna take a cigarette butt because you can't use nothing metal. I'm gonna put that magnet in that hole. Now you can use a toothpick, you can use something like that, but I figured a cigarette butt would push that magnet right in there and into that hole perfectly. See? Perfectly, and then give that cigarette butt a good twist maybe. And look at it, yep, it's looking pretty good there because what I don't want is I don't want no glue on the top surface of that magnet, okay? Don't want no glue on that top surface. Okay, now I know that one was that one. Now you can always <clears throat> test them there, but I mean, you know, it'll pull it right back out. So I'm gonna put that magnet in that hole, take that cigarette butt, stick it in there. Give it a twist. That one's looking good. Now, I've used this cigarette butt twice, so I'm gonna let that one go. Checking my balsa wood, making sure it ain't slipping or sliding. You know what I mean? Taking this other magnet, sticking it in the hole. Same process, four times. Cigarette butt, sticking it in. Clean it off. Now the, the hard part, I'm not going to be able to show you that, because it is kind of the hard part, is getting the magnet glued onto the canopy in the same spot that you got this one right here glued in. Yep, yep. That's the, that's the trick, pilots. That's the trick. Without being a scientific engineer, you got to do it. Now if you miss a glue it and it's already stuck you know it's there and then you stick it on there and it's off okay take your hobby knife trim around the edge of your inserted magnet until the other one will lay in there right it'll, it'll hold it it might not fit right perfectly right there but you know what you're trying to do is trying to get them lined up and there's our balsa wood glued in and our magnets glued in That's how I do it. I'm out.